My name is Mrs Peacock and I work for Tees Valley Music Service. Some of you might have seen me coming into your schools. I teach this instrument, which is the cello, and I also teach the double bass, which is a massive friend. The cello is part of the string family. You maybe already know that. You maybe know some of the other people who live in the string family. So we have violins, which are the small ones, violas, which are a little bit bigger, and then the lovely cello, and then the double bass. The reason I love the cello is because I get to sit down a lot. It's very comfortable to play, but that's not really the real, real reason. The real reason is because I think it has a lovely range. We can play some really high notes, and then we've got these lovely bottom bass strings, which give us some really low sounds, which are the sounds that I particularly love on the cello. I'm going to play you a little piece of music, something that you'll recognise, so that it gives you an idea of what a cello might sound like. So here we go. <laughs> So I'm sure lots and lots of you recognise that, but you may not have heard it played on a cello before. So the brilliant thing about any musical instrument is, obviously, any tune that you really like, you can play on that instrument. It might sound, if you play it on a violin, a little bit higher, or it might sound really nice and low and mellow on a cello. And I think Harry Potter works really well on the cello. I'm kind of coming to you via this little video to see if any of you would actually like to learn the cello or the double bass. Um, obviously, if you're interested in learning these instruments, um, I am a full-size person and this is a very big instrument. We have lots of nice little instruments in little sort of haversack carrying cases to help you get them in and out of school for lessons. So I'm going to finish with a different number because Harry Potter is kind of quite a mysterious sort of piece, isn't it? So I'm going to play you something that shows you some of the higher-ish end of the cello, as well as some of the bass notes. So you can kind of see that it can play up high and down low all at the same time. <laughs> So a little bit of James Bond, which I think is quite apt because there is a bit of a James Bond film where I'm fairly sure they use cellos to sledge through the snow, which is really quite exciting. But maybe we won't do sledging just to begin with on the cellos. Okay, so if you're interested in playing the cello, um, your school will tell you how to go about that. And thanks for listening. Bye bye.